Hello, so I'm back. I just uploaded my video for a palindrome checker and um, so I decided to go ahead and do this other one which is to take a sequence and find all of the palindromes in it. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing here for this video. Um, I've written up all the code here and I actually I'm using my palindrome checker from the previous video, which I will link down below. And um, so yeah, we will get into this uh, this palindrome checker. And then other uses for this one would be like if you had a problem to find the longest palindrome in a sequence or to count the number of palindromes in a sequence, um, you could alter this uh, the solution and find either one of those and then there's probably others that I'm not thinking of right now um, so yeah let's get to it so this is the code um, for detecting all of the palindromes um, basically I initialize two variables um, to serve as the indexes because I'm gonna go through the the sequence and I'm going to go through it in groups of two and groups of three. So in this for loop, the first if um, checks to see if each group of two characters um, in the sequence is a palindrome. And then the second if statement down here, that goes through every three characters. Um, because in this case, I'm saying that the... Uh, the palindrome can be either two or three characters. So I loop through in the groups of two or three and find uh, the palindromes um, in the sequence that are either two or three characters long. Um, and then I take each one of those and I have this expand palindrome function where I, it takes the, the whole sequence and then the start and finish index of the palindrome that we're looking at and then we basically uh, cycle through and check and kind of just expand outward um, by characters on either side to see if the, the palindrome can be expanded and then anytime that the expanded characters do create another palindrome, um, which we check for in the while loop, uh, then we append that to our group of palindromes. Um, so to summarize, for this one I use my palindrome checker from the other video, and um, basically I go through the sequence um, in one swoop and check two characters and three characters at a time and then whenever I find a, uh, um, a palindrome in that sweep then I go to my expand palindrome uh, function that takes that the location of that palindrome and then widens out and tries to find find out if it's if we can lengthen the palindrome or not um, and then it just returns a list of all of the palindromes. So that's it for this uh, video on palindromes, finding all palindromes in a sequence. Thanks so much for watching um, and I'll probably include the code for um, you know related problems like finding the longest palindrome um, in a sequence or just counting the number of palindromes that there are in a sequence um, since those are pretty like very easily um, glean from this solution. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching and I will likely be back tomorrow with more interview problems. Good night!